fretting by what you're going through, regretting the things you didn't do, relying on compensations you Yeah. 
Okay. Hello, folks. I know I don't actually need the microphone to talk to you, but if I don't use it, we don't uh, project it to the world. So good evening, and thank you for being here. And thank you to everyone that's online, overseas watching us. Like, I know Nick in Kazakhstan is checked in, and Dick, Dick and Izzy in uh, England are tuned in. So we're getting there, building it up. Thank you so much. Um, obviously, a very, very big thank you to... Kathy and Malcolm for letting us use their living room and of course their home tonight. Um, yeah, but there are there are there are two provisos about us being here. The first relates to the toilets. K Kathy has two toilets available. Is the close one and the far one right? You, you're going to do it, okay? In the microphone. Please. I I said earlier today in front of Clayton, who's like so cool, and Dave. I said, and Lizzie, who's like doubly cool, I said, blokes in this loo and women in that loo. And Clay says, yeah, fuck you. Like, you, you want, like, you just want it all. And like, you know, it's okay when like it's on yours and uh, feminism. Uh, yeah. So I will say this. If you sit down to pee, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, please feel free to go to the lovely toilet at the end. Otherwise, if you want to stand up and leave the seat up as it is at the moment, go to this toilet. <laughs> So that was rule number one. Rule num Oh, yeah, there are some places here to sit if you would like. There's, some, there's a kiss that you can sit on over here. But the second rule of us using the space was that Kathy said she was not going to be chasing people away from here at three in the morning, you know, all pissed and full of nonsense. So, you know, get as rowdy as you like, but go home, you know. You all have a home. So how this is going to work is we're all playing probably about 35, 40 minutes. And we're going to all start on the hour. So Lizzie's going to go play first, and she's starting at 7. Whenever she ends, we'll have a little break. You can go and have a snack and some drinks, and then I'll, I'll go on at 8. Um, and then I'll probably end at about 22, quarter 2, and then we'll break until 9, and then Clayton will play at 9. So we're going to start on the hour every time. It's just easier to schedule it for the live streaming. So have a good time, and thank you for being here. And please welcome Lizzie on stage. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Nice to be back here. This, I'm going to start to, okay, thanks for coming and everything and chill out and if you, yeah, just, okay, I'll get on with it. This is a song about a, um, about a baptism that happens in a small town. I've, some of you might have heard this already. There's a town where people are badly behaved generally, and there's a minister that comes to town to try and fix everything, and he convinces all the young men to be baptized, ten of them. But only nine of them come out of the river. So it's a ghost story, really. There's a man in the background You can't pin him down But he follows you around And there's a crackling sound 
and a curdling cloud above the river where the baptism drowned. It was early May. They gathered at the water's edge in anticipation. The minister prayed for the ten men here, eternal salvation. Took him to the pool by the old blue gum Through the murky water, golden rays shone Ten men under, but only nine stood safe in the autumn sun You come undone, singing Yeah, I was kicking stones on the dirt road I swear that he was there The shadows flung from the sun down low There was a hanging from his hair They found his robes in the reeds when the water receded Seven years since he disappeared but not a bone was found in the baked ground, he still follows you around. And he's always there in the corner of your eye. In the empty halls and supermarket aisles. But not a day goes by without a rain cloud, but the ground remains dry. And you cry. Yeah, I was kicking stones on the dirt road. I swear that he was there. The shadows flung from the sun down low. There was a hanging from his hair. Now I see you growing old on your front stoop stair Singing a rain song, a yearning prayer Singing Oh, water for the air River to the sea, it's got a soul to bear So that's a ghost story song. I hope you guys got it. It's like, um... thank you. Kind of like the lover slash mother of the missing dude kind of goes crazy and sees him in dreams and he's always got this Ollie hanging. Um, this is a... I guess it's a song about a married couple out of love who then refind each other, something along those lines. Water falls, disappears again. Cigarette draws the jay. Walker counts to ten. Once upon a time, he was well to do men with a crest of friends, a company branded boundaries. But he took it all in with the well rehearsed grin, a masculine chin, but his beard shriveled up his erection. She 
said, is it me you don't find sexy? I'll laze in my belly. I'm gonna gym till I can no longer breathe. I'll even stop eating cheese. He begged the baby, don't go. I love you in the photos of our wedding day. I still dream of the canopies. Push your lover white petals in the morning to cover. Don't turn out your arms for the sunshine and weather. They ruin your feathers. Now he keeps his head in the clouds because his thoughts are too loud. It would freak you out if you knew what he was thinking about. In one day, to the smell of brandy. He conjured up a fantasy, her rotten elastic panties. He rolls up his sleeves. He starts gathering leaves. And he run, 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 and he ambushes lover white petals in the morning above her. And they turn out their arms for the sunshine and weather, and together they shed their feathers. That was frangipani. Um, I'm going to like subject you guys to several, not many. I've tried to minimize this uh, tuning changes. <clears throat> so I'm going to distract you with words instead while I do this. Um, yeah, thanks again for coming, being here, and to Dave and Clay for obviously holding this together. And uh, I came up on Thursday. I should probably turn it on. Okay. Um, Dave has just put together a freaking lovely, lovely debut solo, entirely solo album. And it's very, very beautiful. It's really, really lovely. And he asked me to come up to play that thing on it, um, which is an honor. And uh, it was really cool. And we did it. He did it with this guy called Marius, in, who, yeah, who's a lovely, lovely producer. Um, him and his wife live in Seaview in Durban, which is Clayton's hood. And they live in this tiny little wooden iron house with like a studio attached. Well, it's actually a studio with a bedroom next to it. That's where they live. Um, and it was just like a really, yeah, really cool few days um, working there. So you guys all have something huge to look forward to when it comes to Dave's album. And that is just about perfect timing. Um, this next song is called Lucky Beans. It's from Grahamstown. It's the Grahamstown song. It kind of, the end is like, feels all deep and, um, I don't know, like final or something, but it's not meant to be like that. The words just worked. So don't read too deeply into any of it. It's about the coral, about coral tree seeds and the way that they're supposed to be poisonous, but they aren't because several of us are still alive. We tested it. Mm -hmm. 
There's a girl in the corner in talking nature's a hand on her hip, she collects like a bees. She answers her phone as thirty three ten. She gives a rain good laugh, she's cooking dinner for a friend. Beautiful windows are covered in bars Cursed by the boy who is watching the cars For his people sing now a drunken guitar Sirens and church bells toll from afar Now the girl begins walking, talking knee jeans. Mm -hmm. The pockets are filled, the boys in the seats. She'll cook them tonight to brighten the stew. I know I should tell her that's what I should do. That East Cape smell. Bells swelling slow To die is the only true freedom we know A friend arrives She hitches a ride It seemed to me a good day to die Good day to die. Thank you.
That's Lucky Beans. That's the Grahamstown song. <laughs> it's totally not awkward. You just like go and ruin a really beautiful tree, Simon. Who is this guy? Who invited him? Come on. Um, now he's breaking everything. Jeez, like, he should flip in once in a while, throw a flip in music festival at his house and see if he likes it. Yo. Um, this one is... This is about Cape Town, or more about living in Cape Town first few, they say it's like a really difficult place to be, but I think anywhere, going anywhere new is a difficult place to be, to go to. It must be pretty difficult also. I, I think about this often because everyone says, oh, Cape Town's so clicky, Cape Town's so clicky. Um, which I guess it is, but anywhere it is, and um, yeah, including small towns. But, uh, this was like the first few weeks, just I guess kind of homesickness and a, like a call to come back or something like that. Come back here or to other places. Covered in sea spray. Lately, your upcycled memory with the smell of Mandini, it takes you back to 51 Mitchell Street. At home, hot rain at the cars smells. of the time. And every now and then you find yourself reveling and boasting of the way things were back. Then you know you're speaking the scenes every fucking city man is dreaming. We came home from school in the early afternoon. The only trailer door we knew was an SNEC2. Today, your bedroom view is burglar guards and snaring the blue. At home, no sirens are yelling. Bad guys got no more than eyes. You had a bit of trouble sleeping. See the night sounds in your ears on the anti lullaby. So when you're sitting all alone on your pavement from southeast is gonna blow. It's when the time is right, catch a bus to the night alone. So come on, everybody, and join the party to the place where the black ash snows. Molasses, soil, immortality, potato grows. At home, they're getting pissed in the kitchen. Constellations change, you feel what you're missing. But the stars, they stay the same since the very end of time.
homesick, something like that. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to play. I can do. Two. Yeah, I'm going to either. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to play two more. Yeah, yeah. All right. This one just needs this. Not nothing too um, traumatic. Just needs to drop from an F sharp to an F, which will change it from a major into a minor. Although never mind. Let's not go down that road. Um, this is a like an instrumental thing. So I, I play. Some of you might have seen my band, The Fishwives. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of these songs are do with them. This is kind of like an instrumental introduction to a longer thing. Thank you. It's technically called Reaper. He has one last big tuning change and then that's it. Um, so I need to like, think of another story to tell you guys. So while checking out, we need to go down over here. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay. How's this? Um, it's a G sharp. Needs to go down to that. So this is a thank you. Oh, yes. Look at this guy. <laughs> thank you very much. This is a um a Dorp love song. It's called it's actually called Sea of Nalan Time of Day, but I think it might also be called um shit, that's not meant to be that. Um <laughs> It um, could also be called, well, the opening line is speaking of love and luck and buses and breakdowns. And I wrote it as a sh like a very short story that is called that, which is kind of like, it's a, it's a love story. It's between two girls, one girl and a bus um, that breaks down in a tiny Karoo dorp. And there's this other girl in the corner. I'm busy like giving the whole thing away here, but anyway. Um, and they just like have this afternoon together and all the way up until seven alarm time of day, which is that twilight time. And I kind of like, I think in some ways the seven alarm theme song is kind of like the national anthem. So in Grahamstown, we watched, we went to see the Soweto String Quartet in the massive theater. And they did the song, which is composed by Louis van Rensburg, I think. Yeah, who's, I didn't know was a thing until I Googled him. Um, and and it was so cool because when they played that song, the whole place like stood up, like just like screamed and shouted, you know, because it's that thing. It's that it's that yeah. I guess I mean whether you watch the thing or not, it's just it's ABC two. Um, anyway, so this is the Dort lesbian love song, really. Uh, 
And with the fishwives, we found this amazing guy called Joe, um, who has a studio in Ladysmith in the Karoo, which is where the Coopers are now living. He literally has, he lives on the same road as them. When we go there, we go and have dinner with the Coopers. Hello, Coopers. Um, which is never really good for like recording early in the morning the next day. Not a good idea, but anyway. Um, so it's all, it's all dorps really, I guess. Yeah, it goes. Just me and my own. The dog is sleeping in the dirt and plastic chairs in the driveway. You, you spoke up about to see a vanilla on time and day. Soft as a moth in the twilight She stood and you followed her Saying you let the hood down Say it he do and drop Up the mark For you to climb through in the dark the Secrets have felt sound Waking around you She took you up into her arms Pink was the color that you couldn't get enough of. And 
and you believed she was some kind of a mystical being. Stone was the proof of your memory's truth that burned a hole in your chest and you ache for the sound of a singing. coming everybody now we're going to bite our time until eight o'clock <laughs> it was like nothing to do my goodness have a drink these guys bullied me into going first Clayton and Dave are the biggest bullying men in shall we yo guys <laughs> thanks for coming everybody can I oh okay. Uh, yeah, I understand. But, well, Clayton might want to remove it actually, so let's get it further away. Now,
Here we go, my darling. It's on your chair, all right. Thank you. 
no. Well, it actually is here, but it's in backup. I'm playing this uh, new one right now. So, like, you would say the keys, the pink drum. I, no. I need to do some stuff to it, but it is So I want to just put a, a piezo under saddle and under there. Yeah, it's, love it. So I recorded all week with this thing. Yeah. That's why, that's, that's why I'm like it. I bought it from James Tennyson. I don't remember the Tennyson stuff. It's the bomb down in him. Craig, Craig is yeah, Craig, yeah, yeah, that's Craig. So James is a musician. He, I think he inherited it. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. It's been looked after as well. It has been very well looked after. Have you also replaced the nuts here? The boat, the bone nuts on here. It's fantastic. Yeah. And, the bridge. and then the bridge also. And also not radarite. It's completely flat, but I kept a slight radius. Um, and also on a boat. And then that's it, yeah. That's crazy, how mm. you know, do you? Right, it's your story. You want to know what you see.
Are you speaking at the moment, Simon? Oh, yes. Good evening.
So, as many of you know, I've been a musician for quite a few years and a full-time one for almost two years. And I've spent my, most of my performing career playing really, really cheesy, schmoozy, shallow music. Um, like um, Michael Bublé covers of Frank Sinatra songs, for example. And um, I've been meaning to record an album for a very long time, and this week I finally did that, which is great. Thank you. And um, my album is the complete opposite of what I normally do. So it's, it's, there's nothing polished or clean or sweet or twee or um, stylish or wedding singery about it. It's a very dark album, I'm afraid. Um, I've had kind of a dark year. Um, we'll be talking more about that in this uh, session tonight <laughs> as we go. But yeah, as, as Lizzie said, um, I was at a studio in South Durban the last, uh, for four days. Uh, Lizzie joined me for the last two. I had some other great musicians and came in and, and did some stuff. And it's a, it's a very stripped down album. I had said to the producer, Marius Puerta, that I wanted to have a very honest album with no auto-tune and no... Uh, cleanups and no fixes and I told him this all beforehand and then I arrived and then I wanted to start auto-tuning and fixing things and he said no 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 you said no and so he's forced me to stick by my word so um, the, the songs are low and slow and they don't have a lot of instrumentation on them and that's kind of how I wanted and I've got someone to come and play double bass in some of the songs and Lizzie's come and done some wonderful accordion stuff which we'll play for you later and I had a great drummer called Riley Chandari who came in and did some stuff for me. And my dear friend Nish Pele also did some kehon and hand percussion. So, yeah. Um, it's really, it's an album that's about this year. It's called Duende. Duende is a term that comes from Spanish. It's something that I discovered from the st my study and performance of Leonard Cohen. He, he was a, a, a great fan of a, of a Spanish poet called Lorca. And Lorca took this word duende. Duende is actually a flamenco, a flamenco term. In flamenco music, you have a duende dancer. It's like she represents darkness. So you have a, often have a dancer in red who represents like passion and love, and you'll have a dancer in black who represents darkness. And it's, it's about intensity in an emotional expression in art. So I've had one of those kinds of years. Um, and so the songs reflect that, obviously. And this one is called Bad Times, the first one. <laughs> Look in your eyes, it's different from yesterday morning Maybe it's me that's taking your sunshine away You flew into me so hard and without any warning and Here I am looking for something worthwhile to say Know that you feel that the world's treated you badly. I know that you feel like your life is spinning around. It hurts me to know that you think of me only so sadly. Well, I think about you, this wonderful person I've found. So give me your bad times, give me your good times. Give me the times when you feel like you cannot go on. And don't ever think that there's never a right time. I'll always meet you at the bottom of every song. I want you to know that whatever is hanging above you won't be there forever. Life works it out in the end. Though it's not always easy, you're part of my life now. It's hard to make peace and it's hard to pretend. So give me your bad times, give me your good times. Give me the times when you feel like you cannot go on. Don't ever think 
that there's never a right time. I'll always meet you at the bottom of every song. One day your troubles will seem like a memory only. One day your sun will feel like it's gonna shine. So give me your bad time, give me your good time. Give me the times when you feel like you cannot go on. Don't ever think that there's never a right time. I'll always meet you at the bottom of every song. I'll always meet you at the bottom of every song. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's a relief. <laughs> so, um, there, there, there's many different sort of ways of of, of songwriting, and I. Um... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Sometimes, sometimes when you write songs, you you spend you spend you can spend like six months or a year or two years or three years writing the song and laboring it and going back to it and doing all the stuff, and you end up with something and you're like, oh, no, that's okay. And then sometimes you can write a song in like ten minutes and then be like super happy with it. And this next one is one of those. Um, I was just mucking about with my flamenco guitar. <laughs> and um, yeah, I sort of wrote this song in like uh, 10 minutes. And then I decided to throw my old vintage um, drum machine onto the whole thing, because it's, it's a bossa nova song. Um, those of you who know me know, know that I love Latin rhythms and bossa nova. Bossa nova is a particular type of Latin beat. So this one is actually called Brandy Bossa Nova, which is the name of my band. And it's just a little mournful, um, quiet, gentle song. And um, a friend of mine, Braden Hall, came and did um, upright bass on it, which is going to be great on the album. I'm super excited about it. Let's just see if I can get my foot switches. Thank you. 
just passing over me. It lead me to the truth. Oh, brandy and this star passing over. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, Clayton and I have this running commentary about why we're musicians, and uh, gigs like this are the reason why we're musicians. It's very, very rare that you can get this many people to be this quiet for this long to listen to this kind of music. So you could do like 99 gigs and get paid, and still be a musician just because of this one, you know? So thank you very much. Um, of, course, of course, it helps that we, that we love you all and we handpicked you to be here. <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> uh, many years ago, I was in a band when I still lived in Cape Town, and it continued a little bit after I moved to Shawi. The band was called Soulfire. It was a duo, myself and uh, a dear friend of mine called Duncan Breen. Duncan at that time worked for an organization called Comso, which was a consortium of refugees and migrants in Southern Africa. And he did a lot of refugee and immigration work in South Africa. And he then, after we recorded our first album, which was called The Road Ahead, he moved to the United States and um, did some work there. And now he works for the UN and he's based out of Jordan. And he does a lot of work on the Syrian refugee crisis now, which is very heavy work. Um, it's hard, horrible, depressing stuff. But he has an amazing ability to um, write these deep, hectic, emotional, angsty songs and still be the jolliest, funniest, silliest person I've ever met. He's like got this ridiculous kind of dichotomy thing going on. So I wanted to do one of the songs from that album just to sort of include him in the project because he's been such an important part of my musical journey. So he wrote a song that we did 10 years ago called Place of Ghosts. And it's a song about um, memorials and gravestones and how they represent people's lives and what they mean. And um, we did it um, with guitar. And this time when I recorded it this week, I did it with piano, but I couldn't bring a piano today. So I'm going to go back to the guitar version. And it's a song about nation building and how statues and gravestones and buildings and monuments represent things and help people to either heal or not heal based on whatever the situation is. So it's called uh, Place of Ghosts. Thoughts. What could have been? 
So I'm going to get Lizzie to come and join me now. <laughs> it's been great, you know. Um, as I said, I wanted to do this album that was all about, like, hey, Art Boses in the house. So, um, oh, hello, hello. <laughs> so the guy that I caught, recorded with Marius Buerta told me I had to say hello to Art Boses, which is convenient because here he is. <laughs> so this um, next song is changing the tack a little bit. This song's a, a sort of deep down dirty song. Um, and it's about, it's about a, an application that you can get on your cell phone called Tinder. I suppose the guys this age probably know what I'm talking about, but maybe not all of you do. Anyway, Tinder is basically an app that someone developed, which is for dating, or it was designed for dating. So the idea is you, you register a profile, and you put a photograph on, okay, and where you live and what you're interested in, like, you know, water, like, yeah, like, wa like water, like, like, like reading, gardening, um, dogs, okay. So you put, them, you, put them, you put down your interests and a photograph and where you live. And then it presents you with a whole bunch of pictures from other people that have done the same, that live in the same area and have similar interests to you. And then you, they, you get presented with their photograph. And if you think they look nice, like if you're attracted to them, you swipe it one way. And if you think they're like, mm, then you swipe it the other way. And then there's an algorithm in the back that keeps track of all this stuff. So if Mike swipes that he thinks that Sally's quite pretty and Sally swipes that she thinks Mike is quite pretty then it says hey you guys both think each other's pretty and you live in the same town and you have the same interest why don't you go to date okay that's like the idea I think but unfortunately it's it's basically just become a um, an application for people to hook up and have like random sex with each other at, at fair, basically a moment's notice really I think yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> So, I, so um, my, I, my dear friend Nick Holmes, who a lot of you know, who's watching in Kazakhstan at the moment, he was he was on he was on this Tinder app for a while when he was single, and at, at one lunch date, well, we were uh, we were at lunch and he was there with his cell phone and he was already moved to to um, Kazakhstan. We signed him up, I think, for like something like 120 dates with Russian women. We just swiped. We just went like. <laughs> so this song is like tongue in cheekly dedicated to Nick Holmes. Uh, it's the Tinder song. Yeah, ready? We meet in the 
dark corners. We meet in the dark corners, places where nobody goes, and force our conversations before we take off our clothes. Cause we're right for one night. Not for tomorrow, and we know it's not right to trade in our sorrows. Abandon me tomorrow, I don't shout. Find another sucker to host you in the dark. No one Darken your door. Where's the application? Can I fill in the form? Cause I'm here for one night, or maybe another, and I'm short of attention. But there's much to discover. I don't shout. Find another sucker to host you in the dark. Where no one So my whole goal was having this like um, you know album that was all honest and and really it's itself. And who better to have on an album like that than Lizzie? I mean, Lizzie is like the most herself person I think I've ever met in my whole life. <laughs> which I actually think, which I actually think is a testament to her parents and Lou and Rog. Um, who have raised two wonderful individuals in Lizzie and John, who are both just like very much themselves and great, wonderful people. So th thank you for loaning me your daughter, Ali. <laughs> I was going to say something else after that. It's kind of gone. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Well, so that's kind of what this, this album, as I said, is about. It's about many of you who've known me in different roles throughout my life. Um, I've done different things and have been different people. And this whole thing is about deciding who I actually am and what I'm about. And so I've had this year of, well, a couple of years of change and flux and probably a series of midlife crises, if I'm honest. Um, and it's, it's been quite crazy, but I think I might be getting there. Maybe I'll be a grown up in a couple more years, you know? I'm, al I'm almost there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Um, so this next song is a song that's about um, people sort of having to leave, you know, when you kind of want to grab onto them and them having to go and you can't kind of pin them down. And I, try, I wrote this song for like years. I came back to this song 
time and time again for years. At one point I gave the, the lyrics to friends and I said, please write lyrics for this song. I can't, I like the tune, I can't make it happen. And then eventually it just sort of, it did it. It's called Morning Call. what happened tonight but for you it's just another stolen hour that leads to another morning call I'd like to fall into you dear with you here with me no I can never your own you free so I swallow my feelings laugh at your stories and that's what happened tonight cause for you it's just another stolen hour it leads to another morning call morning call call you home to call you home so scared to reach out and hold you I'll unfold you here inside hiding my thoughts and feelings the ceilings of Another drive, another disaster, that's what happened tonight. And with you, it's just another stolen hour. It leads to another morning call. Morning call, to call you. call you I hear you in every song rhyme every book line I read synchronicity trying to leave me cause I need you with me another life and maybe I'll find you that won't happen tonight Another stolen hour with you, just another stolen hour that leads to another morning call. Thank you. How are you feeling, Liz? She's strong. Are we, gonna, are we gonna drive south together? Cool, let's do it. If you don't remember it, just sing La. It was cool, it was cool. Um, it's always, it's cool recording. It's very different to playing live, it's cool. And the people we recorded with are great. They make great cups of tea and they cook awesome lunches and tell great stories about hanging out at Hillbrow in the 80s. It was a job, it was cool. Yeah, it was wonderful, and um, it was chilled, and it was great having Liz, and Liz had to learn a whole bunch of songs in like six hours, like learn them, record them, be done with them, um, and that happened on Thursday, and then just to add complications to that, she and I wrote a song together on Thursday night, which we recorded on Friday. We'll, pl we'll play that later, <laughs> but this next song um, is a song that I wrote about a wonderful place that used to exist, excuse me, in the South Coast. 
It was called the Rock Bottom Music Bistro. Some of you have been down there. And uh, in terms of live music, it was kind of like, uh, it was kind of like the George of the South, you know? We used to have these huge gigs at the George and bands would come and play here in a shower. And then they'd roll through Durban and play, you know, some inconsequential big city place. And then they'd go and play the rock in the South. You know, it was like North Coast, Durban, um, South Coast. And the rock was wonderful. And it got closed down. It was in Umzumbe, by the way. And it got closed down because of neighbor complaints. Um, like the old people who had retired there were just like, no, we're not having a music venue close to our houses and blah, 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 blah. And they, they fought it for years and years and years. And these two lovely ladies who, who owned it kept it alive at a total loss for probably two and a half years, just making no money and just lawsuit after lawsuit and whatever. And eventually it got closed down properly six months ago. Um, so this is a song about that place. And there was a wonderful musician who used to host the open mic sessions there on a Sunday. His name is David Marks. David Marks was an old sort of um, folk singer back in the day, and he, he was a miner um, up in Gauteng or the Transvaal in those days, but he was into folk music, and he taught himself about sound engineering and stuff, and he eventually ended up at Woodstock, uh, working one of the sound stages, and he went to Newport Folk Festival, and he worked overseas and met all these cool guys, and he was a wonderful, cool old buddy, and he used to open the, the open mic session. So this song is dedicated to him and to the rock. Yeah? Cool. <laughs> Traded some songs for an old record player and a suitcase that came from the wall. I knew it wasn't worth it, but I was feeling kind of low from the letter that you nailed to my door. So I headed for the coastlands with my favorite guitar and a tented and shining gold horn. I knew I couldn't play it, but it made me feel better just to see it on the passenger floor. Out driving south, with the radio playing old songs, thinking about my old wrongs, and quietly drifting away. A lifetime ago, I was holding your head in my hands, trying to make sense of your plans, and all that I wanted to say. I'll drive and say, There's a beach near him, some bed. Forests and flags, and a baptismal pool by the mouth. It's an hour from here, past the old railway station, below the proud rock of the south. There's a man there named David, singing songs from the old days, laying each precious one down. And I've been there to see him, like a priest in confession. Words just wouldn't come out like the words of all. Out driving south with the radio playing old songs, thinking about my own wrong. Quietly drifting away A lifetime ago I was holding your head in my hands Trying to make sense of your plans All that I wanted to see I'll take my wrongs and I'll turn them to songs And I'll bleed them right out of my hands And you'll hear me And you'll understand Because I know that you're leaving 
So I'll settle my soul with my head down word till I bleed. There's no use in grieving or thinking of feeling the magnitude of this great need. So I'll see you again when the winter winds blow in the farmlands of all the Glorious north, the town on the mountain, where the children run happy and free. Our driving sound, with the radio playing old song, thinking about my old wrongs, quietly drifting away. A lifetime ago, I was holding your head in my hands, trying to make sense of your plan, and all that I wanted to see. Our driving side. Thank you. So I, I went to the studio with the, the goal of recording uh, nine songs, and one of them I was going to write, you know, in the evenings before going into the studio, as you do, um, and I didn't finish it. Uh, it was a song that I've been writing also for years, like from hotel rooms and backpackers' lodges called Song from the Road, but I haven't got there yet, so I decided to leave that. So Marius and I were talking about what would be the ninth song, whether I had anything that I was old that I wanted to play, and I didn't really. But there's a song that I've always loved that is old enough to be in what's called the public domain, which means you don't have to pay any licensing fees to play it or record it, whatever. Um, it's a song that's a traditional Irish song. The tune is called the London Dairy Air, or if you are an Irish nationalist, it's just called the Dairy Air. You leave the London bit off. Um, but interestingly enough, the words were written by an English lawyer, not by an Irishman. And um, the rule with public domain is that the uh, artwork must have been created and the writer or creator must have been deceased before 1929. And the, the words to the song were written in 1910 and the writer died in the early 1920s. So it falls into the public domain. And it's called Danny Boy. And um, I recorded it early, early in the morning. Um, Marius has this theory that if you're going to record a song low, you record it first thing in the morning. So he walked into the studio at like five past ten, cup of tea, <laughs> and we went. Yeah. And he goes like this. Danny boy, pipes, pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountainside. The summer is gone, and all the leaves are dying. Tis you, tis you Must go And I must buy But come ye back When summer's in the mail Or when the vast Hushed and wide and slow Desire Here In summer Or in shadow Oh, Danny boy Oh, Danny boy I love you so And when you come all leaves have fallen 
When I am dead, as dead I will be. You will come and find place where I And kneel and say an Ave there for me. And I will know, though soft you tread above me, and all my dreams will warmer, sweeter be. If you will bend and tell me that you love me, then I will sleep in peace until you come for me. Thank you. Okay, last one. Uh, thank you once again for being such a great audience and for being my friends because you're all my friends. And thank you for coming. Um, the album is being mixed at the moment, and I'm going to tour it down to Cape Town, leaving KZ on the 25th of November. Um, meet up with Lizzie down there in the Cape and do some shows together. Um, I'm taking my percussionist Nish along with me in my. Um, station wagon that's recently been converted into a sleeper, sleeper wagon by the wonderful Ozzy Mayer over there, <laughs> the, the three-dimensional genius of a Shawi. Um, and yeah, I hope to I hope to have some CDs and stuff, iTunes and all the cool stuff, whatever the people are supposed to say at this point. Um, so Lizzie and I wrote this song together. I, I wanted to, you know if, if you're going to invite someone to be on your album. And it's not just so they can be, you know, your slave and you tell them to do stuff. You need to be part of the process and you ask them advice and stuff. So we wrote this song together, right? Okay, am I, am I overstating that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Lizzie helped me to write this song. Um, it's about Peter Maritzburg. And I've always liked Maritzburg. Um, I, I had never been there until I moved to Oshawi, and then I went to Maritzburg for the first time. And I like it because it's, it's a city that feels like a small town. But to be honest, it's... it's um, it's faded a bit lately, you know, you go there now and it's looking a bit disheveled and a little bit fucked up, to be honest. Um, you know, the, the buildings are falling apart and there's like mess and like, you know, what? You're not supposed to swear on live streams. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's not looking so great. And um, part of the thing about it not looking so great is that these old sort of down and out types that are there. I, I always say that, that Maritzburg is like the, it's like the poor white capital of South Africa, you know? Um, there's all these guys that are there helping you like park cars and stuff. And it, and I'm not making a, a social judgment at all, really, in this song. You're probably going to assume that I am, but I'm really not. It's just an observation. I've just met these guys, and I've stepped down and bummed wires from these guys, and vice versa, and just shot the breeze over the years that I've been there. I used to go and sing at the Golden Horse Casino, and it was just terrible, you know? Yeah. And no, it was really terrible. Like, playing a casino is really horrible. It's like the worst job you can get. Um, but anyway, so... This song is about those people and about how they're still people and they had lives and they have dreams and um, they're not that different to us. You mean Maritzburg? No, I mean these people that we're going to talk about. I need, she need, I know I need to turn your microphone up. So this is a Maritzburg story. This is for this is for people to know Maritzburg, like Steve Palferman and Ant Brink, you know, and Malcolm. Okay, just just check that we got some some juice there. Two, two, and two. I still kind of feel like I want it to be louder. What do you think? No, I want it to be louder. Two, two, one, two. I'll have. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. 
Okay, sorry, big build up, low delivery. Here we go, Maritzburg. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> see me sitting underneath my tree blanket in a packet puppy on my knee I have a sorry story I'd like to tell to you I can't promise that you like it but I promise you it's true I'm 67 years today Unemployed for ten. I used to have a family, but that was way back when. Could I trouble you for five bucks or a cigarette or two? You look like you're decent and charitable too. And maybe I'll buy liquor, or maybe I'll buy bread. One that kills me quicker is the one that cools my head. I'm a poor white from Peter Maritzburg, and I'll watch your car for you. You're right that I can see you. As I try to park my car My kids are in the back seat My husband's at the bar Your strawberry sunburn Your mouth are missing teeth You'll ask if you can help me Pack my groceries And sure I'll give you five bucks a cigarettes or booze You've had a life of bad luck I drink for comfort too You're a poor wife from me to marry I had a father just like you Now let me tell you one last thing Before I let you go I might not look like much There's a few things that I know I used to have a pretty wife And happy children too But I've heard the people close to me Have dished out bruises too So go and find your husband Drag him from the bar Before the sheriff comes To take your house and your car Somewhere here in Maritzburg I have a daughter just like you We live here in Maritzburg, we live side by side. The distance that's between us has never felt so wide. Staring at each other from across the great divide.
Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We'll have another short little break and uh, we'll get Clayton on at around about nine. Thank you. And Lizzie Gaysford, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hold well on, yeah. Thank you. 
Good to get that one up, man. It was cool. It was a good one, brother. Fucking hard shoes to follow. Alright, you get to game change and you, so you you get that job. Yeah. I'm gonna set up the thing. I don't have a glass. I can't do it. I want to do it. Are you going to pull us on stage a little bit? The court organ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that back side. One, two. Just a touch. Thank you. 
One time. Huh? Thank you. 
One, two, oh, oh. Hello, everyone. Thank you. 
Thank you. Oh, very kind. Worry, baby, it's another story It feels like in love tonight Don't be fooled now, love It's just what the drugs feel like All right now, I seem like Jesus Christ But in the morning, I'll be just a man I hope that both you and I are okay with that But tonight can we just be in love But tonight can we just be in love That's good humor Face gets thicker, moves up as problems start to grow. It's leaf decision making for when we are decrepit. And oh. But tonight, can we just be in love? Yeah, I'm going to try this one. It's a, it's a bit of a new one. Jesus, I'm old. 
Um, this is a cover by a band called Timber Tamba. Yes, you better run. 
anything to do. I'll see you on Sunday. Asking some strange white man to forgive me for a hundred times. <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, one. Um, thank you for um, letting me have a space to express myself amongst you guys. Thank you. Um, and I just want to say thank you to like everyone in the room pretty much because you guys are like the backbone of um, the people that come to gigs in you shall we so thank you we really appreciate it all the time <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah <I'm sorry. laughs> together conversation wearing thin the beer doesn't taste as good as when we were running this quiet little town 
And even the dogs knew our names in the time. I the rolling tide. I the rolling tide. I the rolling Still at the bar, yellow fingers and scars, old stories and new regrets. The only time will judge us now. In the end, it's still death in the tide. The tide, the rolling tide. The tide, the rolling tide. The tide. What's wrong, Anthony? Two more songs left for you. Thank you for being here. Okay. Um, I've got a little EP on the shelf at home, collecting dust. Um, trying to let it go, but it's you know holding on. When it comes out, this this song will be on it. I'll see you next week. Sweet memory and broken teeth, easy love it. Look me up Next time you're in town I need a shoes 
that my life is fine. And don't call when you're lonely and dry. Don't look to me to find compromise. Thank you to Lizzie and David. Thank you guys.
Let's never leave this year, baby. Let's never go out on them streets again. Let's never cut our pain again. So long to Baby, let's run for the mountain. Honey, let's run for the tree. Let's run for the mountain. Let's never go into the bank okay. Let's never log on to Facebook again. Let's Sure as hell, never go anywhere near goddamn gates again. So Baby, let's run for the mountain. Honey, let's run for the tree. Let's run for the mountain. Thank you guys for coming.
Thinks is under her. Oh, boom, 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 boom. 